When it comes to Aurora, we wanted the design to reflect how passengers would still be using the railway in 20 years' time. We needed to understand what was actually possible to put into practice for the Aurora design. Rail passengers rightly expect really high standards when they travel. Going beyond that expectation was our starting point. With all of the technology improvements, seat improvements, ultimately all builds up to how people feel on board. Things have changed massively since the introduction of the Meridian 20 years ago. This is the new Class 222 Meridian, designed especially for Midland Mainline. These diesel-electric multiple units incorporate the very latest technology. So I very distinctly remember what I was doing with the Meridian project, because I was working um, as a project manager at Atkins uh, for the trains, for the new Meridian trains. I used to just hop on to, to Long Eaton, to Leicester, uh, to go to university, and I never even sort of thought about the train itself. I just thought I'd get there from A to B. Whereas now, uh, there's a lot, a lot of change in terms of that experience that you have on board. It's not just the journey, it's also sort of how it feels, the comfort, the availability of Wi-Fi, the ability to sort of interact with friends on the train. So when you think about it collectively, the train has to change and, and needed to change. So the biggest thing obviously is that sort of development in the quality that people expect from, um, from a train in, in pure design terms. So I want customers to be excited about the rollout of a new train. These things happen probably once in a generation, every 30 years. So when that train rolls up for the first time, I want customers to be excited and I want them to recognise the amount of work and effort that has gone into designing these trains for the benefit of our customers. An industrial designer, I guess, in simple terms, perhaps sits somewhere between an artist and an engineer. They're trying to design products that make life better for people, effectively. It's sort of combining the, the kind of needs of the passenger or the end user, whatever the product is, with the ability to actually manufacture it at a cost and deliver it and make it reliable. Ultimately, we needed something that was going to be consistent with the EMR branding that we'd started to create. And it's how we took that exterior into the interiors. You know, so those, those were all the considerations that we had at the time. So what we had to do, first of all, was analyse what was there, see if that satisfied the kind of vision that uh, EMR had for their passengers. If it didn't, could we change it, could we enhance it, could we improve it, could we flex it a little bit to make it more suitable for EMR's operation. Camera are a fabric manufacturer. We have a worldwide market base. Came into the transport market around about 20 years ago. So we're supplying the seat fabric for the Aura project. We use British wool, so we, uh, we get the design brief. Um, we work out how we can make it weavable into maquette, and then we work with the designers throughout the process, and then we have a final product that, that ends up on the seats. We went through loads of iterations of fabrics. There were rolls and rolls of the stuff arriving as we went through various different versions and iterations and styles. It's a really important part of the interior. It's a tactile element. There's a texture as well as the colour to it. We wanted to deliver something that we were going to be really, really proud of. So it really needed to be something that looked great um, on day one, but also would still look great in 40 years. So, you know, the questions that we kept asking ourselves is, is it, is it timeless? Are there things that are going to wear in, not wear out? In terms of creating a brand new train from, from, from scratch and working with, with Hitachi, it's not something that we've done before. So we were really leaning on, on the specialists. Um, it was really important for us that we, we had a trusted partner that would be able to deliver the vision that we created. So we're at Hitachi's factory today, reviewing the, the new trains. 
So have a look at the seats, have a look at sort of finishes, the flooring. But today we really get a sense of how everything looks collectively um, and, and just start to review it, start to pick up a few things, celebrate how it looks and just give it a good, good sneak peek for our customers and for ourselves really. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What do you reckon, Matt? It's amazing to so see them. Slow. Oh, wow, this is brilliant. Well, we're instantly drawn to the carpet, in truth. Like, I don't know why, it's sort of, it looks sort of very, very refined, very nice. It feels very air, like open and very airy. Open. Yeah, compared to sort of it, all of the trains we sort of travel on. But the wood finish is, that's, that's beautiful, that wood finish. Ready? Yes. Ready? Right. Come on, three. Sorry. Wow. You know. Come on, experience standard class, guys. What do you think? Wow. Matt. First um, time seeing it? Yeah. Well, it's our first time seeing it yeah. as well. We're, it's not a mock up. Yes, it's yes. It's the actual thing. Yeah, I mean, transition from first, it's. You kind of go, this is really nice, isn't it? So, normally when you're sat by a body side, you get the whole heater yes, grills yes. thing. So, because it's underfloor heated, you've got loads more space. Yeah, you've got. Feet, even, you know, me who's tall and. I never have that. Like, I never have like, that issue. <laughs> <laughs> Really, the, the fact was that we needed a vision to base everything around some sort of clear vision. And we worked with the EMR's team to develop that vision. Um, I'm going to, it's a little pop quiz for you here. What would you say, or what do you think, you'd have to guess, was the most popular phone back in 2003? Um, the most popular phone in 2003? The Nokia 3310. What phone did I have? It would definitely be a Nokia. <laughs> It'll be one of the little Nokia things, that I'm, I'm sure, sort of like, well, I can't remember, the 1510 or whatever it was, yeah. Could I play Snake for Sheffield down to London? Probably not, no. <laughs> I would say technology has moved on leaps and bounds from when I, I remember looking back in 2003. Just the different types of technology that I see today, I couldn't imagine thinking back then. We've had a great opportunity here to, to build into our train design some fantastic new innovations. What's important to us is making sure that our customers have that switched on 24-7 reliable Wi-Fi and phone connectivity. I probably would say my biggest kind of bugbear about the trains is probably the phone service. You, you can hardly get it. I do two hours of travel in a day back and from work and I want to relax and watch a show and I can't. It bugs out like 24-7. We have made a number of design considerations a part of the new Aurora fleet. Passenger Wi-Fi that runs across the length of the train, which once you're connected, you're connected, so you can walk between carriage to carriage without any disruption. We've also used a specialised body side window, which is designed specifically to help connectivity. You know, it's down to the little tiny details, isn't it? So things like underfloor heating. Lighting is, is something that we've considered. Things like sound dampening. All the seats have plug sockets, and, and that was really important for us to deliver that for, for our customers. We're here today to have a catch-up meeting with FISA and also DG Design to, to just review the seats and, and find out how the manufacturing process is going. Manufacturing is rolling well and quietly because uh, I think we are around the middle of the, um, of the program. My name is Luca Giantin, I am the Sales and Marketing Director at FISA. We are the seat manufacturer for the new Aurora fleet from EMR. The design of these seats for the Aurora project is great because it's exactly tailored on the demands and on the wishes of the final customer we will improve for sure the customer experience. I mean, people are spending, um, you know, on our routes to two and a half hours. So one of the really key things for me when we were looking at this was actually, you know, sort of in seats where you've not got your fixed table, you have a drop down table that you can work at and that you, you're in that seat and you, you're contained and you feel, actually feel secure and, and comfortable as well. We are delivering a 19% improvement in seating capacity in our standard class trains. Additionally, we've been able to look at the comfort of those seats because it's one thing having a lot of seats, it's just as important or arguably more important to make sure that customers on their journeys are sitting in seats that are comfortable.
think for a longer journey, these, these, are, these would be ideal. They feel quite good actually. Um, the back on them is really nice and also the armrests are quite good. So today we're here at Nottingham Station to try and gather sort of customer feedback on the new Aurora seats. They come into the main concourse here at Nottingham, they have a look round, they see the, uh, the mock-up of the train and they can't resist but to go and have a sit down. They feel the comfort and the firmness of the seat and once they're uh, relaxed with the armrests down, it feels at home. We love purple, don't we Michelle? We love purple, it's my favourite colour actually. They're actually really comfy to be honest and you've got more leg room under the table as well. My first reaction to those new seats and the new interior, uh, they look great. It looks really like comfy, it looks really cosy, but not too cramped. And yeah, it looks, I mean, standard class on a normal train isn't really usually that nice, and that looks actually quite nice. So if that was my train, I'd love it in the morning. If our customers aren't happy with our seats, there's no point doing the new trains. So we've got to get their feedback, we've got to get their buy-in, and we've got to make sure that they are absolutely behind the new trains and the seating is the most important thing to them. I'm a Derby boy. You know, 20 years ago when the Meridians came out, I would have been living at home and we had a view from the, from the window of my bedroom of the trains spearing out of Derby and into the Amber Valley. So I've grown up with the trains around. Uh, I've worked on rail projects in my professional life from Norway to Saudi Arabia, but never anything so close to home. So it's great to be able to you know, share, share the train that I've worked on and spent, you know, me and a lot of people have spent a lot of effort and, and love have got onto this train. So it'll be super to see it roll through town. It's been immensely sort of enriching, you know, sort of to, to be involved and that's, that's the real buzz I get. It's, it's to know sort of you've impacted the world and you've been a part of something. Um, so it's really powerful that. It is, you know, four hundred million pound investment in, in the fleet and the programme, and just to be part of it feels like a real legacy. The whole kind of experience, hopefully, will feel very seamless on the MTA because the same team has been involved all the way through. Compared to a car or a plane, a lot of these things are personal choices. You have options. A train is for everybody, so the design has to really appeal to as broad of a base as people as possible. So I'm very confident that we've landed in a great place, and the train will be loved. God, I, we did something really amazing. I, I will always be proud of the um, legacy that we're creating by delivering the Aurora train project. You know, I can't wait to travel on it. I can't wait for, for family and friends and staff to all travel on it and, and feeling like, you know, we did, we did something that was really great.